Give me a tier three. What's going on guys? It's Magic and welcome back to the channel. The social distance secret is that time of week again. I've been trying to get a tier three all week. All right, I've been trying to get a tier three from the costume egg. It has not happened yet. We're still working on it. I've still got time in today's video. So that's what we're going to start off doing. We're going to try and do that first. And if I start to run out of time, I've got some other goals that I want to quickly complete because we know the 900 mil egg is coming and we need to make sure that we are ready for it. Mostly the event shop. I want to buy as much out of this as I can because I think the shop's actually going to restock this weekend. I have a feeling, no, I, I think I saw Isaac did a poll, maybe, maybe it was a poll that he did, that he should restock the shop, so it's very likely that we're getting shop restock and the 900 mil egg this weekend, and I need to be ready for that. During my grinds, I have managed to get four tricksters, we could have our first shiny tier 2 if this keeps up over the next few days, but... We do have 13 Ghost Lords, so there is a brand new shiny tier 1. That's going to be strong. I have a feeling this is one of our stronger pets. We unfortunately cannot max it right now. Or oh, we could. I'm going to Google its stats just to be sure. Okay, so if I equipped our best team, it would be my strongest bubbler of all of my pets, but it's not very good in every world. In fact, a maxed out regular trickster is better candy or treats and therefore after the event better in every single world than the shiny ghost lords. That's a little bit sad. I guess we will just go back to grinding the egg. Tier three, please. In today's video, our first ever tier three. Pretty please. Okay, I have pushed myself to the absolute like final minute. It is 9 p.m. This video needs to be edited by now. But instead, I'm still recording. <laughs> Unfortunately, no tier 3. I did get really lucky at some point and I hatched a second Ghost Lord that was shiny. I've also got five more Ghost Lords and I've got five Tricksters now. A shiny Trickster would not be bad for this account. But since we're in sort of like the final hours of this week, I really want to... I've lost my entire week to hatching. Um, nearly at 100,000 eggs, lost my whole week to hatching. I really want to get ready for the 900 million eggs. So, how do I prepare for the 900 mil egg? I gotta make sure I can afford these. I would love to be able to afford these, but I just cannot at the time. So for now, ooh, I could max enchant these. Let's see how strong one is once it's enchanted. Boom, 11,000. That is a bit of an improvement. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna do that guy. I don't know if that's enough to make me actually want to do it, though. Yeah, I might just hold off and not do that with the other one. Okay, so four hours of luck right now and three hours of hatch speed. I've collected my buffs from here, I believe. Yes, okay, so we're kind of working against the clock now. Once you start buying your buffs, uh, your boosts, then you want to be quick so you're not wasting them while you're buying the other one. I've also got... Okay, I've claimed all of them. That's a shame. I thought I had some hidden away in there. There's 30 minutes of double hatch speed accidentally defeating the daily challenge. That's always nice. Give me a max potion. You oh. I get excited on every account when I spin the wheel and nearly get a max potion. I also have some boosts hidden away in here, but obviously we don't have to claim these because they're around for another 15 days. All right, big focus is going to be getting all of the boosts out of the shop and then logging out and not playing the game again until the 900 mil egg so that we don't waste our boosts. Although, the shop might restock. So maybe we will buy all of these boosts and then continue hatching, try and get a tier three, and then on the weekend when this restocks and the 900 mil event shows up, then maybe we'll, uh, we'll buy them all out again and just do the 900 mil. So I'm going to spend... Oh, I don't want to spend too long. I'm running out of daylight. Well, I'm running out of daytime. Like, the day is nearly over. I'm going to spend a little bit getting this... Wait, how much do I need? They're 30 million each, right? 30 million times 29 equals... 870 million, so I can buy... Oh no, it's probably... We legit might be able to buy these now. I might be able to buy both of these out. That would be great. Then I would just be focusing on trying to get some max potions by farming the trick or treat, which would be fantastic. Also, 900 mil egg, probably gonna cost gems. Let's not forget to stock up a little bit on these. 11 billion, nice little boost there. 
Hopefully I'll have enough because I, I honestly, I seriously forget to get chests. I'm the worst. I'll just log in and be like, I gotta grind eggs. And then I don't do the chests. I run out of currency and then I hate myself for running out of currency. So I do have like probably 48 hours before the update actually drops. Although by the time you guys see this, it's probably only 24 hours until the update. Let me know in the comment section down below, what other things do you do to prepare for a new update? Because I really want this account to like go hard at the 900 mil egg. And other than like buying a heap of boosts from this shop here, I can't actually think of anything else that I would use to like get ready. Still two hours until that, but hopefully I can get three hours of double treats. That would be nice. So I guess we're just gonna do it. This is actually like, to be fair, my week kind of failed because I didn't get the Skull Reaper. So there's not a lot of actual additional content for you guys here. I'm just gonna buy all of these. See how much it sets me back. All right, I bought all of the luck. Yeah, I, I will probably be able to buy a max level potion as well. This one's a little bit more expensive, but yeah, no, we, we've done this so easily. I was seriously overestimating because I just didn't want to get it wrong on video. So I can buy one max level potion now. And I, I actually think I, oh no, I can't AFK overnight anymore now. I don't want to waste these. I got 33 hours there and pretty much 33 hours there as well. So we are ready for the 900 mil egg. Like, I could grind a little bit of this maybe while I'm editing, maybe get lucky and finally get that Skull Reaper, but mostly just ready for the 900 mil egg. I would also like to get the last Tricksters. I need five more Tricksters, so maybe I'll do a little bit of grinding on this egg as well. So the 900 mil egg is gonna be the first egg that I really, like, I feel like I'm ready now to start trying to hatch a secret pet just in case secret pets never come back to the shop. Assuming there's a 1 in 1 million secret pet in this egg, I will have a 1 in 500,000 chance to get it on this account with the boosts. That'll only last for 30 something hours though, so I will not be able to open 500k eggs. <laughs> but we will give it a good go. For those of you who are wondering, I do have another series planned that will replace this one. Should be interesting. Similar theme, but completely different at the same time. Hopefully you guys are excited for that. I don't know, it could take a very long time for us to hatch a secret pet. We could be at this for the rest of our life. But anyway, guys, that's gonna have to do it for this week. A little bit uneventful because I just, well, I didn't get lucky on that tier three, but we did some really good prep work to get ready for the next egg. And if you guys don't do that prep work, maybe after seeing this, you know, you've got 24 hours or something, maybe grind up those treats buy yourself a bunch of boosts and then just log out, wait for the update, and then maybe try and be one of the first people to hatch the new secret pets. They have really good values if you're one of the first people to hatch them. So it's always worth taking that chance. But like always, guys, thanks for watching today's video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment down below, especially if you've got any other suggestions on how I can prepare for the egg. Subscribe to the channel, turn on that notification bell, and I will see you all tomorrow with another video. Bye!